I love all conspiracy theories. Okay, right? let's do it. <laughs> you know, there's a, the flat Earth and uh, space uh, yeah. the satellites don't exist. Yeah. And uh, gravity isn't real. Um, Gravity's not real? Well, think about this is the conspiracy theory. I don't know what's real or not. I'm not a, a physicist or anything, but think about shit like this. That w when it comes to space, we're going to space and then gravity. Space, nuclear bombs, gravity. All right? Real quick. Real, real quick. I don't know what I believe. All I know is I don't believe shit coming. Everything is corrupted. Education, history, everything. Anything on the mainstream media, newspapers, books. Read a book. Yeah, write a book, motherfucker. Try doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, so when it comes to space, I went flat earth. I thought, like, that is the, when I first heard that, I go, that is the dumbest shit. I remember Joe going, dude, Dude, there's people that think the world is flat. He was using that as an as a, um, a uh, he was a, trying to explain how dumb people are. And I thought, what? Because there's, there's people that think the sun is three thousand miles away. I'm like, what? I remember hearing that a couple years, a few years ago. That's crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. And then I'm like, that's got to be some kind of CIA distraction. That's what I thought. And then on Joe Rogan's podcast, it got brought up again, like a uh, flatter. I'm like, are we really talking about that? Isn't it? it's got to be. A CIA kind of cover up. I mean, people believe in Scientology, so I guess they'll believe in anything. So, so then um, uh, months go by, and then uh, one of my students comes up and goes, "Have you ever looked into the flat Earth?" I'm like, "Dude, you, would you that's stop the ultimate with that? like." Oh, I'm like, "Dude, you're a little crazy right there." That's got to be some kind of CIA psyop. And then he's like, "Okay, what do you got to look? Should look into it." And I'm like, "Whatever." So then, um, uh, this other another student comes up to me and says, "You ever look into this flat Earth?" I go, "Fuck, dude." Please, I'm I'm talking about Tower Seven, you know what I mean. I'm not talking about no goddamn. I'm talking about moon moon hoax. I was really into the moon hoax, but flat Earth, give me a goddamn break. And then he goes he goes to me, listen man, I uh, I got my master's in engineering. Trust me, look into that flat Earth. I go, dude. And then um, I got his number. I go, listen, I'm gonna prove to you tonight. So I became the skeptic. I was the anti-conspiracy theory. Right. So I went home that night after yes. class, and I go, all you need is a picture, one of those pictures from space, Earth from space. So I punched it in, Earth from space. And every picture was CGI. And they'll tell you, NASA will tell you that. They'll say, oh, well, because of the way we take the pictures from the satellites, we gotta put them in strips, and then we, 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 we line it all up, and then we have an artist put together his rendition and go, wait a minute. And then it turns out, I used to be a fucking space fanatic, man. Me and Joe would get high and we'd watch documentary after documentary of space. Space, the fucking universe, 12 set edition DVD, all these neutron stars, hyper supernovas, all this shit. Man, I thought I was being, I thought I was watching some educational shit. I'd put that on over and over and over, space documentaries. Joe's got fucking 150 of them. And now, every now and then I'd watch them, and i go, it is kind of weird how this is all cartoons, but okay, whatever. And then I wouldn't think about it. And every, then, uh, you know, 10 DVDs later, I'm like, there's no real footage. It's all cartoons. But, but somebody figured it out. This is the way they, it's supposed to look. They, somehow they figured out these are how uh, uh, galaxies look, spiral galaxies. Somehow they figured out that that galaxy is 150,000 light years away from that galaxy. Someone figured it. Some scientist figured it out. I'm just going along with it, listening to the narration and these documentaries, like learning like everything, they, everything that's said in those documentaries. I'm like... Fuck yeah, okay, I gotta remember that. Uh, 33 million miles, okay, cool, cool. The sun is 93 million miles away. Okay, I'm like memorizing the shit. But then when I try to disprove flat earth, and every flat earth guy, there's a reason why it's fucking huge, dude, because every flat earth guy is like out to prove it, that it's not real, and all you find, all you find is CGI. And then I thought, well, NASA, everything, all the knowledge we're, we're, we're getting from space is coming from NASA. They faked fucking moon landings. Wait a minute. And then you start looking into and like, where's the real footage of this shit? Space shuttle hoax. And then, and then, I, then, I, then I start doing some in, uh, investigating. And I found out that the, in the 50s, you know, in the 50s, we didn't even know what we were on. In the 50s, it was still a theory. We were still like, there's no proof that the earth is even spinning because mainstream science will tell you that the earth is spinning a thousand miles an hour and then we're going like 60,000 miles an hour around the sun and then the sun is going like a fucking 500,000 miles around the, the galaxy and, all, and every star you see is doing the same thing, right? I'm like, what? And the moon's only, we only see one side of the moon, what? 
How are we sp everyone spinning, but we see the same shit? We see the Orion's belt. We're, like you see the North Star and everything spinning around the North Star. Goes, Wait a minute, what's on the other side of the sun? And then you start, and then I, in the 50s, we didn't know what we were on. In the 50s, we didn't know we were on. We weren't high enough. That's when we started going high. And the guy who went the highest first, he went 50,000 feet in the air, in a balloon, in like a little mini submarine. His name is August Picard. Look him up. He He's was in that commercial. Exactly. Yeah, that commercial. Exactly, exactly. Look and into the real went... shit. Look into the real shit. He goes 50,000 feet, the highest ever. Commercial planes go 30,000 feet. He went 50,000 feet, and he said, unless this is bullshit, I mean, according to the shit that I read, he said, the Earth appears to be a flat plane with upturned edges. Whatever the fuck that means. He comes down... Na NASA's form, they lock up space, space's government now, and we're going to tell you what's up. We're going to tell you what's up with space. So, like, what are these stars? I don't know what stars are, but you know what? When you look through a high-powered telescope, they're just like lights and shit. And then how do you get all, oh, the star's made of this, if it's a red light, it's made of this, like... There's a bunch of fucking lights. Look through a high... I mean, you can go on YouTube and look at what high-powered telescopes are looking at when they look at the, okay. the stars. So like, you believe the Earth is flat? Well, I don't know. I don't know. No, no. I don't know. All I'm saying is shit. I don't believe shit from NASA. I don't know. I don't know. What Show me a picture. at the edges? That's the only thing... That no, no, no. Okay, okay. This is, this is what they believe, right? It's, f it's flat like this. There's an ice wall around it. The North Pole is the middle, and the sun and the moon go around like this, like this. So when the sun's over here, it's dark over here because it's so far away. Hold on. It never sinks. There's not, when it's not a universe, it's like literally the sun goes around the Earth? Yes. The stars, everything revolve around Earth. We are the center, just like all the ancients believed. We are the center of some special thing. And this is, now, if you look at the cosmic microwave background, there's a, there's a documentary called The Principle. It's on the Copernican Principle, and the Copernican Principle, principle is, that, is the heliocentric model, which this, the Earth and uh, the planets revolve around the sun. That's heliocentric. The sun's in the middle, right? And then we found out later, it's like, oh, shit, we're going around a black hole or whatever. That's what they thought. But the geocentric model is everything revolves around us. Like, we're, this, we're a flat plane, and everything's going around us. And in 2006, they took the cosmic microwave background. It's a picture of the universe. And the top astrophysicists, professors in MIT, they're like, damn, it looks like everything is rotating around us. Everyone thought it must have been some kind of fuck up in the picture or whatever. So for years, since 2006, they're like, oh, man. Like, some people are going, dude. This fucking cosmic microwave background snapshot of the universe shows that the stars and are going around us. We're the center. Every, most people thought, oh, that's bullshit. You can't say that. Like, you can't say that. The, the Bible was right, right? And then they did it again in 2013. They took another. It's a special snapshot. And the European Space Agency did it. Not, not NASA. Same shit. They just, they just want to control the space. Well, anyways. So they came back. Same fucking thing. 2013, 2014. European Space Agency, they said all these motherfucking stars are rotating around us. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that's true or not. But what I'm seeing, what I, what I know is true, is there's a lot of debate going on about whether we're we're still not even sure if we're going. That's all the theory. And then you start looking into it like, this shit's us going around the sun is a theory? I thought I, I read it in science. It's some it's another fucking hoodwink. It's another it's another level of hoodwink. Like who knows what we're on? So hold on, you th that the theory is that there's a there's a basically a, a like a, a like we're in a, we're in a, let's look at it like this. Look at dish? it like this. Like look at it. Like, maybe we're on this giant. We're in a gi a giant planet, and we're in a crater, and it's filled with water, and there's continents coming out, and that crater's wrapped up in a, a, with an ice wall. And so if the North Pole is the middle, it's like we're looking it down. Everywhere you go south, you're gonna hit the the South Pole which is an ice wall, and the sun and the moon go around this way. Oh, my like, God. Like, the middle is the North Pole, and that's why when you have a, a compass, everything points to the North Pole. Like, there's an, a magnetic pull to the North Pole, which would be the center on the flat Earth model. It would be the center. So the sun and the moon are going there. Uh, according to flat Earthers, the sun and the moon are, like, they're not even, they're uh, some kind of magnetic light bulbs. Like, the, the moon is not reflecting light from 
the sun. It's its own source of light. There's no reflection going on. They supposedly this is what the flat earthers say. Is what they say. So, anyways, I don't know. It's fascinating shit. It is it's fascinating shit. When you look into it, I, look into it, dude. Look into a, 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 the history of flat Earth by Eric Dubé. There's a lot of there's a lot of flat earthers that say that it could be disinfo. I want to get sound somebody like on here Eric, to talk about it. Eric with you. Dubé. Eric Dubé. That's the only guy. He's got it fucking down. The history of flat Earth. I'll send you a link. It'll trip. It'll fucking trip balls. Who knows if it's true? Who knows if it's real? Who I don't knows? know. What is? I don't know. But all I know is the 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 shit that's coming from NASA. I don't buy that shit. They fake too many moon landings. Like so, I don't know. Maybe it's flat. Maybe it's round. Maybe it's both. Maybe we're on a gigantic round planet. And we got up and we're like, oh shit. And there's all these craters with these Earths. And we're like, oh shit, on this one gigantic planet. We're just one of a bunch of Earths. So you go back down and like, damn, it's flat and round. We're in a crater. We're in, and if you look at the logo, the map logo of the UN, the UN is the map of the world. It's the flat Earth map. Why is it the flat Earth map? How come it's not the, the map you see at school where it's like you see, you see uh, North America, South America, and then Europe and Africa? You see that flat when it's like on a wall? But... The UN doesn't use that one. The UN uses the flat where the North Pole is the center. So when you go to the North Pole, you're actually going to the center of this crater that we're in. Dude, Aaron, thoughts. And here's another thing, too, about, about perception, about perception. You know, if you're standing on the middle of the street yes. and along the street you, for blocks, there's these light poles. They're all the same height. Right? Yes. Artists need to know this. This is the law of perception. As you look down the street, each light pole gets lower and lower, right? Yes. And and it comes in. Yes. And the street goes up and the ceiling would go down. If we were in a hallway, the ceiling, if you looked all the way, a long ass hallway in Vegas, a long one, the walls would come in like this yeah. until the vanishing point and the ceiling goes down. And the what it is is your perception, your eyes, Everything comes into your vision. So if you go 30,000 feet in the air on a plane, the horizon rises to eye level no matter where you're at. You're going to trip out on the law of perception. No matter where you're at, the horizon will always meet your eyes. Meet the camera. It's fucking freaky. So when you're, <laughs> so when you're, looking, when you're looking at down a hallway, everything converge, converges, right? That's how artists, it's a, the law of perception. So when you're, when you're standing outside and you're looking at the sky and it appears, it appears that the clouds just come right down and we're like in a dome. It appears that, like it's really close. But then when you're on a plane and you go above the cloud line, now it's the, the horizon, the clouds go up and it's like, dude, way further than when you go down. It looks like just right there, we're in a dome and the clouds go down. If it's all cloudy, it looks like we're in a dome doesn't look like that it's the law of perception the clouds are coming down because they're so far away so if the sun if we are in a flat plane let's just say we are in a flat plane and it's true and the sun was like whatever hot height and the further it goes away eventually it's going to disappear not because it went down it's eventually it hits the your your eye level right and then it disappears right people think well well when you look at a boat and you're standing on the on the beach you look at a boat and it starts to disappear, and then the last thing you see is the mast or whatever, and it seems to be going over the horizon. That's all the law of perception. It's already proven. You can look at it on YouTube. You put a zoom lens on it, and the whole thing appears again. It didn't sink. If it sink, a, a, a telescope or a zoom lens wouldn't matter. It would go over the horizon. I know. I get what you're saying. It's not going over the horizon. So the if boat I never, put a telescope, it it's gets right there. closer. Yes. But it doesn't go down. It's not going down. Very it's not, it's the law of perception, man. Aaron, look into, look into did it. we just blow your mind? <laughs> I don't know if it's flat. And then you look at nuclear fucking bombs, dude. Okay. Have you ever what? seen a have you ever seen a nuclear bomb? No. You just gotta we just gotta take someone's word for it, right? When you look at the race to build a nuclear bomb, it's just like the race to build to take a man to the moon. They just put all this money in. What about years, Hiroshima? People live there right away afterwards. How do you know if it's a nuclear bomb? Or it looks just like Tokyo. They firebombed it. They didn't. They had to say it was a nuclear bomb. This is the conspiracy theory. Oh my God! It's what? not a nuclear bomb. It's just a regular bomb. They were just fire firebombed 18 cities in Korea. People immediately started rebuilding in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. There's not like some 
you know, uh, um, not like just scorcher devastation. Yeah, like a radi- radioactive yeah, right. people who have grown five arms and shit. None of that happened. Nobody knows the difference between a, what a nuclear bomb looks like, but the fear that we have it. Ooh, the power. The fear. Everyone's always trying to build one. Oh, oh Iran, my Iran's God. Try, Iran's trying to build one. A reason to go in and stop it. Yes. You know what I mean? Chernobyl. Yes. There's an explosion at a nuclear power plant. There's explosions in coal plants, and they kill people. But what happens in a nuclear power plant, uh, since when that explodes, we got to shut down the city to make the bombs look dangerous. Because they don't need it. Apparently, according to the conspiracy theory, there's no need reason to shut down Chernobyl. People can live there, but they they sacrifice the city to terrify people because then it's going to now they could spend money on bombs. All the money comes in nuclear bombs. Everyone's trying to build a nuclear bomb, but they can't figure it out. Oh, Libya is trying to build a new, but they can't figure it out. Nobody can figure it out. We figured it out. Why are people still living in Nagasaki and Hiroshima? We don't know if it's real. Dude. We don't know if it's real. But you know what? They spit. There was a race to build to split the atom. If they could just split the atom, can you imagine the bomb? They, they had the Manhattan Project. There are thousands of scientists. There's like spending all this money. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna build it. We're gonna build it. And like we can't fucking do it. Let's just bomb them with regular shit. How do we know? If, how would we know if it was a nuclear? We didn't drop any bombs and damn and nuclear bombs in Korea. We didn't drop any nuclear bombs in Vietnam. We, where's all these nuclear bombs? We didn't drop them. We're and not just dropping like them the anyway. Space shuttle, we did it once, right? We did. We, did we went to the moon once, right? How many? No, times like six we, times. They we faked went, it six times, man. You know how much money each time, man? Each money probably meant you know thirty billion dollars at least for shadow projects. Oh shit! Yes, or for whatever. Damn. I, I don't know. Nuclear bombs may exist, but it's something I've never seen. I can't prove it. I'll look into so, that. So it's something that uh, Eric Dubay, too. He'll look into that. Eric it's something, Dubay? Nuclear bombs and space, they're things that we have to take government scientists' word for. Freemason scientists' word for. Eric Dubay. Just look at anything Eric Dubay. He broke he's, he, he breaks shit off. I don't know if the earth is flat. I don't know, but I don't know what we're on. Who knows Dude, Who knows strange. what we're on? And it doesn't matter. Like, that shit doesn't matter. What really matters is what Trump's going to do. That's what really matters. All the flat earth. Do you think they're trying to discredit nu- him so he can't get anything done? Fuck, yeah. They still got the media. They got the power of the media, so they're going full blown. I think they blown. overshot themselves. I think that they went, and we're going to wrap it up here, Aaron. I know you got to go home to your lady and make love. Uh, I think they overshot themselves. And they, they dump so much so quickly that people are going to get fatigued of it, and they're just not going to care. And then they're going to – then if they are trying to describe him, they totally fuck themselves. They, they're actually going to make him look like a sympathetic figure. I don't think Trump is like this white knight in shiny armor. I love my dad to death, but I wouldn't want him to be president. And my dad's a good guy, yeah. but my dad would be the same – like, you know, USA, America, and all that stuff. I'm not saying he's a bad dude. I think Hillary's a bad dude. I yeah. think she's not good. Yeah. I'm not saying Trump is a good guy. I'm just saying let's not be like just because Hillary was a bad guy, Trump's a good guy. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, I but think- but the fact that the establishment, the entire power structure through everything they had at Trump and Trump still wins, I'm hoping I, this could be a double cross. But if it is a double cross, and maybe they wanted Trump in the whole time and they fooled us conspiracy theorists again. If they did that, it, it means that the power structure is stronger and the conspiracy theories are stronger than ever. Yes. You know what I mean? So deep. It, yeah, if they double-crossed everybody and they wanted Trump in to begin with and they just made up the whole pedophile ring and they go, dude, we're going to fucking, we're going to make up this whole pedophile ring. No one's going to get indicted, but it, they're probably laughing their asses They're coming, off, going, dude. Oh, th- may, you know, that's just me. Thinking, uh, uh, smoking too much weed. That's yes. just me smoking too much. Yeah. I hope. Uh, I hope it's not a double cross. I hope Trump is the real deal, and I hope we fucking we got the power back. That's I'm hoping I hope. too. I hope. Eddie, bravo! I love you. I'm I glad you, you came man. on. You. Uh, you're more than welcome all the time. We do this once a week, and I know you're super busy, but anytime you want to come on, talk smack. You were great. I know you don't think you should have been on that. You were perfect on JRE 9-11. I was annoying as fuck. <laughs> you would, it wouldn't have been right if you weren't there. Thank you. Thank you you thank added you. it. You were, yeah. you know, you're allowed to question. I mean, Joe questioned him. You can question. That's what you do. Yeah. It, if you did a conspiracy theory podcast and you weren't there, it wouldn't feel right. Yeah. 
I'm glad you're here. Thanks for coming on, Tim Foil Hat. Thank Guys, you. sorry about the space shuttle stuff. I know I'm going to get killed trying to find it. I didn't know 90 people made their own video of it. But I'll find it and I'll tweet it and you'll see it's crazy shit. And uh, guys, any thoughts you have on the podcast, anybody you want on the podcast, hit me up. I love doing this podcast. It's only going to get bigger. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Tinfoil Hat. We'll see you guys next week.